Hey guys, welcome to Code Decode. Today in this video, we will be looking into Spring Boot Profiles interview questions. What is profiling? How can we do the profiling? Which is the best way to use the profiles and which is not? So let's get started. Please like, share, subscribe and comment so that this video reaches to more of the people who are preparing for interviews like you. Now suppose you have many environment specific properties in Spring Boot that you need to configure. So how would you segregate such environment specific properties in Spring Boot? Now let me give you an example first and then let's see how Spring Profiling is very much helpful in that particular situation. When it comes to our local development, testing and prod environments, we might have different type of databases. For example, Oracle is a bit costlier one. We might be using Oracle for the prod ones. We might be using MySQL or PostgreSQL for the lower environments. And we might use even the in-memory databases for the local work and testing work. So there can be different different type of application configurations that might change as per the environments. Also, suppose one application is calling another application. The prod version of application A must connect to prod version of application B. Hence, the prod URL of B will be configured in A and test version will be in the test environment, QA version will be in the QA environment in application A for application B. So that's how we need to have the URL which is specific to environments. That is how we have multiple database to be connected at runtime based on the environment specific detailings. That's where we need to have multiple different environments and on based on those environments we need different configurations. So Spring Profiles provides the best way to segregate your application configuration and make it available only in certain environments. For example, how to configure different database configurations at runtime on the specific environment by the respective profiles. As database connection is better to be kept in a property file, it remains external to application and can be changed. If you create the connection as a part of Java code, any changes in the username or password or the URLs has to be changed in the Java file rather than the properties one. So that is why it's always said that the changeable property should always be kept in the property file. And hence there you can create multiple different property files based on your environments. For example, you have suppose three or four environments. You have a dev environment, you have a test environment, you have a QA environment and you have a prod environment. You might also have a local environment. So all of these must have the different properties file. By default, we have one property file which is common that is application.properties. Rest becomes the environment specific properties. Thereby, the default one application.property is also a fallback property file. That means if any of the property which is required by Spring Container is not available in any of these specific active profile will be searched at the end in the application.property file. And if these both have the common properties, then the environment specific will be overriding the existing default property. Hence, all the properties in application.properties will be called as default properties. Hey guys, there is a super amazing app called as Next Level recently launched by an academy for you. Next Level is an ultimate platform for you to showcase your expertise and skills and get professional ratings. The better is the professional rating, the better is your job opportunities. Yes, this is the application where you will have job opportunities out there for you waiting for you this app is now available on ios as well the playing time is also increased from 10 am to 10 pm when you can play with your opponents also they have amazing prizes for rank 1 they have macbook air rank 2 they have ipad mini rank 3 for kindle white paper and also top 25 people have the certificate of appreciation there are many coding competitions on the application all you need to do is participate in these coding competitions compete with the people win the coding rounds the more you win, the better is your rating. The better is your rating, the more is the job opportunities unlocked for you. Yes, they have multiple partners across the multiple domains like in IT services like HCL, ECS, Infosys, SAP Labs, in e-learning platform also like Scalar, Simply Learn, in finance department like ICICI, in e-commerce department like Cashify and many more. At next level, even the physically disabled candidates can apply for Node.js and Python positions. You can invite your friends and challenge them to coding competitions. The best part is the app is completely free and the link to download the same is given in the description below with the code reference. Right now you will need to join the waitlist. You can start playing on the app as soon as your waitlist is confirmed. 
So hurry, download the app, join the waitlist to get the early access to the app. Also, do not forget to refer to your friends so that you can get ahead in the waitlist. Now let's go and create some profiles. I'll be creating a startup project, Spring Boot profiling demo. I'll be using the web only right now. That will be enough and the project is getting imported. Great. So our project is ready. Spring profiling demo. Here in the main resources, you can see a default property file, which is given by Spring Boot to us. This is where we can override or provide your own properties in this property file and you can use it in this application. Now I have a message and that message is the default message. Now I want to use this default message in my application and print. This is a Spring Boot applications main class. I want to create new component. So I'll create a package and a class, say profile demo, which is going to be a component, which is going to use all the values from the profile in which we are going to create. So to make it a component, we need to make it as at the rate component. And here I need to use a property from application.properties file that is message. I can use at the rate value to fetch values from the property file. And how do we take it? Dollar and value. Put in string message. Now I want to print this message. So I need that as soon as the bean is created of this profile demo, after post creation of this bean, I should print the message. So at the rate post construct is called as soon as your bean is created. I'm going to create a method print message and I'm going to print this message here. The messages and printing the message here. Now when I run this application, this const post construct will be called as soon as the component scan here tries to scan the child package. The child package for com demo example is also components. It will try to search into this class and finds that it is yes a component. I should create a bean for this and after creating a bean by spring container, it must evaluate this value and call the post construct. As soon as post construct is called, a message should be printed. So let's see if this does print the default message because this is a default property. And you can see that in the console, you will see which profile is active. Since we have not made any other profiles and the default property is application.properties, it is going to pick it from there. Let's run it and see the change. Here you can see starting the application. But no active profile is set, so fallback is given to the default property. And this application.properties or application-default.property is the same thing. So if you put it like this or if you rename it as application-default, it works the same because it is by default given by Spring Boot to us. This is both the same. Hence, while creating the beans, after initializing the application context, while creating the beans, the post construct of this component is called and the message is set as default message which is in the default properties file. So that's how we have created our example. Now what we need is we need to create this message environment specific. Now in my application, suppose I have four environments, I will be creating four properties file and to create these four properties file, I just need to name this application dash your environment name dot properties. So first my environment can be development environment. The next can be prod environment. The third can be suppose local environment. Now in dev, I'll, I'll put the message as development message. Local message and prod production specific message. Great. We have created environment specific properties files now. So how will you segregate the properties based on your environments you have in your application? The solution would be to create more properties file and add the profile name as suffix. So this was the prefix application and the suffix is local. That is your environment specific name. And configure the Spring Boot to pick the appropriate properties based on profile. So this is the task and beauty and magic of Spring Boot that when you say which profile has to be active, it will fetch the suffix of that particular environment specific property file only. So suppose I have made an application 
to run on develop environment then only this property file will be picked by the application and not the local and production one in case some of the properties are not found here you know where to find that is the fallback properties that is application dot properties for you hence application dot property will remain the master property file but it will override any key in the profile specific file the later will gain precedence that means if you have two properties so for example here you have message here in default message and you have a message here at development moment also so which will be given the preference the preference will be given to the environment which is currently active currently there is no active profile hence the default one is picked up now the next question is how to pick specific property for example development while developing your application now suppose i want to pick the dev environment as my development environment while i am developing something you have multiple options to do it spring profiles active as dev in the fallback property so here you can say profiles dot active as dev now what will happen spring will understand by reading this fault property file that okay you need a new active profile that is dev so it will pick this application property dev application property and will embed this message here and print that message so the flow goes it starts the application it searches for the component it finds the component that it has to create bean this particular component needs a value from the property file now it will check which property file is active or which profile is active it will find that here with spring profile active is development and moment it will fetch this dev property and will embed this message here this is how the flow will go in spring boot so let's try running it again and you will see the message is now message is development specific and moment because in the starting also you can see in the logs the following profile is active that is dev so this is one of the ways to activate a certain profile there is also another ways to pick specific property file you can also add it in your vm arguments so rather than doing this we can also use this while you are running it so while running in the run configuration you have an a place where you have vm arguments so you can use minus t and provide the proper profile which is active so suppose i have kept it as dev so dev in moment will be picked up and when i try to run it you can see another development specific message now suppose i have prod specific message so i have some prod specific key only available in prod and i can use the same this prod specific key will only be fetched from the prod properties it is not available in local or in dev or in the default one also so here this is going to be fetched only if the profile is prod if you try to print this prod specific message it can be picked only if your active profile is prod currently your which what is your active profile in the run configurations you can see that we have dev you can see that dev does not have this value prod specific key this prod specific key is only and only in prod profile nothing in local nothing in dev so now we have an active profile is dev so it will search first in dev properties does it find any prod specific key it doesn't find any so it will try to search in the default one it still doesn't find any hence your application will break with cannot resolve the placeholder illegal argument exception this prod specific key is not available here so now we understood that this component not only needs anything from dev but also needs prod specific properties so you can also do one thing you can in the run configuration enable two profiles also so now you have two profiles active dev and prod now you will ask me messages also in dev messages also present in prod dev messages message which is specific to development and the message is specific to prod how will it work so let me show you dev also has a message prod also has a message both the messages are having some specific message prod specific or development specific how will it choose which to pick so here you can see that later it also uses prod which will override any common property between dev and prod so here prod's message will only be used for the message one so you should be able to see 
both production specific message and only available in prod because prod is given as a later argument it will be overriding any common ones between dev and prod so let me try to run it so this is production specific message and this is available only in prod so this is how you can have multiple active profiles here now i'll remove this and i'll try to do that in application.properties file again can we have the two here so i'll use dev comma prod and see if this runs for us yes that also runs so even giving it in the properties file as two different active profiles that is also working and product spe production specific and prod profile only available in prod messages are coming up there so since prod is given as a later argument the message which is common is get getting overridden by the prod one if i would have used prod comma dev then the message which is common will be taken from the development environment and the one which is only in the prod will be still available like how it is right now let's try to run it again so the message from development specific property is taken and and the one which is only available in prod is printed here that is how the one which is common is getting overridden by the one which is given as a later argument is given the preference and precedence so that were two ways there is also more ways to do that now i am commenting this again now if i try to run it it will fall back to the default one and it will fail because the default one does not have any product specific key so it is failing because it is getting fall back to no active profiles and fall back to the default one because we have removed from here also and also we do not have anything in the run configuration so no vm arguments also hence it is getting back to the default profile default doesn't have any product specific key hence bean creation exception is found now another way was in the application spring application you can add additional profiles as dev now here you can also create a new spring application of this is my dot class now in application you can set additional profiles and give the profile as say prod because a component is using product specific key now if i don't want any bean creation exception because this needs this production specific key i have to give it prod to make it run successfully and then application dot run and then now let's try doing this so this is production specific message and production available and you can see in the logs also the profile active is prod so this is also one of the way to pick specific profile during development but this is the bad way even this is the bad way the only best way to do is this with the spring profile active minus d in the arguments i'll tell you later why is it the best one and why this spring dot profile dot active in the properties file is also bad programming technique even this is the worst programming technique this is going to make it default one and we will be seeing why is it bad in the later part of this video now if there is a common property then the last one will be overriding it rest the default is always active that is spring application dot properties all the properties will be loaded but will be overridden when you have some specific profiling active this default property file is a fallback property means if no property is found in the profile specific one then this default profile property will be picked up hence anything which is default has to be kept in application dot properties file now we have seen all the ways to pick up the environment specific properties in the spring boot there is also multiple ways like giving it in the maven plugin providing it as a profile tag in the maven multiple ways are there but still the best way is to provide it as a vm arguments while running it i'll tell you why one very important thing what i had to do is there is to give it a prod because this component depends upon a property which is available in prod now i don't want to put it as prod because i don't want to make any kind of database connections to prod so let me do one thing let me remove all this let's keep it the original way and in the properties file i just want to point to dev but still want to have one property which is available in prod only product specific property how can i make sure that this product specific property is getting picked up without any bean creation exception now here while running this to create this component it needs this pro product specific key 
in the properties file i have given that i am in a development environment i do not want to connect anything any database any url to prod how can you i still make sure that this doesn't give me a bean creation exception currently if you try to run it again you will get bean creation exception so here you can see bean creation exception why because to create the bean of profile demo the profile demo it needs to auto wire and inject of this property this property is not available in development hence you are getting bean creation exception there is no such this product specific key so what i can do is i can make it a specific to profile so i can use a property source so this is a property source and i can use the property source as application prod dot properties now it says that to make this component to have these values the property source can be this application prod dot properties also now if i try to run it bean creation exception should not come because it says that if nothing found find the product specific key in the application dot properties because it is the property source for you currently so since you have the develop and moment as the active profile the message is always from the develop one but still you won't get any kind of bean creation exception because product specific keys because you have given a property sources production dot properties so from production profile only available in production we have this property available here so that's the use of it the red property source it is a convenient annotation to include the property source to springs environment allowing to inject properties via at the rate value this can also be repeatable so you can also use this in conjunction with two property sources so this is allowed and you can also use it as dev so this is how you can also use two property files uh, two property sources so this is how you can use two property sources but that you might have seen somewhere that you have at the rate property sources used rather than two property source annotations this was when java 8 was not introduced this is the new way to implement it this is after java 8 and this is before java 8 so at the rate property source initially had to be kept in the at the rate property sources annotation but this is now deprecated with java 8 and higher ones so from java 8 onwards property source annotation becomes repeatable before java version at the rate property sources was the way to provide multiple properties to the configuration file so yes there are possibility to give your component or your configuration file multiple property sources to pick your properties from so that bean creation exception cannot come should not come also there is one more important annotation that is at the rate profile now what i want is i know that this profile demo component is using a product specific keys that means this profile demo is binded to the product production environment and if in case i put any such properties which is development and i'm not using any property source there might be a chance i get bean creation exception to prevent it make sure the profile demo component is not created if the profile is not prod and how to do that so there is an annotation called as profile if the profile is prod which should be active to create this as a component now if you would have created the active profile as dev but your at the rate profile is prod that means this profile demos bean will not be created at all it will be created as a component or a bean in spring container only if the profile active matches with the active profiles in the application or in the vm arguments so here you will not be able to see such messages because your active profile is development and we have stated that to make a bean of this profile demo only and only with the when the active profile is prod now let me try to run it and see there is no message on console that means the bean is not created at all and it says the profile active is b dev and on the console there is no message like we used to have earlier so bean of this is not created at all even because it was post construct which has to be called after bean is created since bean is not created post construct is not called hence message is not pick, picked up from any of the profile that is how you can make sure that your particular component is created only when the particular profile is active using the set the rate profile annotation
so how can we configure a bean to be created only in a certain profile that is at the rate profile for you with profiles we can also control which beans are to be loaded in the application context this at the rate profile will automatically be used to check whether this profile is active or not if active then create a bean if not active do not create a bean this bean will automatically picked by spring boots class path scan because you have used at the rate component but it will not be instantiated if the current active profile is not test and moment use profile specific beans very responsibly i have told you why if you have not used it responsibly adding certain beans to application profile for one profile but not for another can quickly add complexity you will get bean creation exception like we did if it is dev now suppose i have made a dev the dev profile is active it will create a bean search for this in the dev and moment not found search it in the default one not found bean creation exception will be thrown let me run it again so yes bean creation exception again found so use this profile specific beans responsibly any bad argument and you will get bean creation exception hence use it very wisely so at the rate profile associates a bean to a particular profile it says that this bean should belong to dev development environment only and that is how you can make a connection between an environment and a bean create a bean for this environment only it simply takes the name of one or more multiple profiles also it can be negated it should not be created when it is development or when it is local so that can also be done you can also be having a negated so everything apart from dev will be creating this particular component now how will you check which profile is active again the way to do it is you have springs.profile.active here here you have spring.profiles.active here to check it you can also use this in the same way it with the value you can have this active here i'll make it as prod only and make this as prod so that we don't get any bean creation exception so currently my active profile is pro prod i have this profile active and i can print this also it will show you what is an active profile so let me try to run it it says active profile is prod this is the active profile from prod so this is how you can also check which profile is active and if the profile active is this specifically what you need to do on that particular environment can also be done so that is the beauty of checking which profile is active and doing the task based on that profile also you can auto wire an environment and fetch from environment what is what is the current active profile so these are multiple ways to define your active profile fetch the active profile and customize it according to your needs now a very important thing when to use profile so when you you want to have connection to different database or queues or topics based on your environment specific things you can use profile when you want to connect to different services like service microservice a is connecting to microservice b now a should not connect to prod every time when you are in lower environments you should always connect to the lower environment of b only that's where you can also use profiling again when you want to configure less logging in production now suppose i am in a development environment i want all the logs i can keep it in info or debug but in the logging in the production i can keep it even higher i don't want to see any any much of the debug logs i can see i just want to see only errors that also you can do here also you can have custom configurations like we had the message here so this is a custom configuration which has having the value different in each specific environment so that's custom configuration that's where you can use profiles now a very important part when not to use profiles so remember when you need to create a bean only in a specific environment do not do that if you do that you can get bean creation exception if configured wrongly now suppose during configuration i am creating this bean specific to environment if by my mistake i have given it as development profile and whenever you have development profile up and running here 
then this bean will be created it tries to fetch product specific key and you will get bean creation exception so be very careful and responsible while doing a profiling based bean creation it is very risky thing to do and a very important point never never appreciate doing this in your applications why because you should not use spring profiles active in application dot properties because activating a profile would make it active by default now suppose i have a property file which is having development i have created a war and deployed it in development environment i have tested here it is working fine now i will use the same war foil and deploy it i should be able to deploy it in test environment qa environment and prod environment without making any change but this line will not allow me to do that because i have made my profile active as development by default if you put this particular war again in the test environment then test properties will not be picked rather again dev property will be picked if you put this war as it is in your production environment then again the development properties will be picked and not the production properties and your code will break this war will break getting into a different server the prod server or test server or qa server hence what you are doing with this is you are defaulting it to development which you should never do else what you have to do is every time change this push the code to dev change this push the code to test change this push the code to qa change this push the code to prod which is a very bad habit this is never to be done and the worst was what we did here because you are changing the java class every time when you change to a different environment what is the best way best way is to provide it as environment variable as the vm arguments or as the command line parameters so the best way what we did was while running this in the run configurations you can provide your vm arguments or while running the war you can provide it as minus d spring active profiles as dev prod based on your requirement so that is the best way to do that these two other ways were very bad we should never use this is never recommended so that was all about profiles if you find such more questions that have been asked in interview you can put that in comment section and i'll create more videos on such topics thank you